So what do you guys think? I think this is the most popular shoe in skateboarding right now. Cause I gotta tell you, one trip to a skateboard park and I'm bound to see at least two or three pairs of these, which is more than a single model from any other brand out there, in my opinion. So whether you think this is the most popular skate shoe out there or not, I wanted to give you my opinion on it. Now, I'm not a super technical shoe guy. I don't know all the little things about it. There's a lot of good videos out there about blazers if you wanna know all the technical stuff about it. What I do know is this is a vulcanized shoe. And what I can also tell you is this is my second favorite vulcanized shoe I have ever skated. So my first favorite one was actually the Blazer Low. So the only thing that I didn't like as much about this one is the fact that it's a mid. I've skated low shoes for my entire time on a skateboard with the exception of like a couple pairs of half caps. But just because I'm not gonna tell you all the technical things about this shoe doesn't mean I'm not gonna give you the goods. Okay, so let's get right into it. I've been skating these shoes for a solid month and a half. This is my switch foot. It's got tons of wear left on it. Like the sole, the soles are really good. I'm super impressed with the soles of these shoes. It's the exact same experience I had with the original Blazers, the lows. The soles outlasted the outside of this shoe. So let's take a look at my regular foot. So as you can see, I'm pretty kick flippy. It's wearing into the black rubber there. But again, this is like six weeks of wear, which is really good for me. I blow through like a, a pair of shoes that doesn't have a very good toe. I'll blow through them in like two, three weeks. So getting six weeks out of these without even having to shoe goo them is really good. I only just started to get a little hole from Ollie's because I've been doing just tons of stuff. Like I'm always working on my backsmiths and you know, love back tails. So I'm kind of an Ollie heavy skater, but I don't get holes in my shoes from Ollie's really easily. It's a weird thing. I can't tell you why. Now I often get a hole right here from my scooching, doing my kickflip tricks, right? You do that little scoot. And again, this sole is holding up really well. Now that doesn't mean that the rubber's hard or anything. Like it has really good grip. I, like any vulcanized shoe, I expect it to have really good board feel and really good grip. And I would say these have a little bit less board feel than Vans, but still really good board feel and grip. The plus side I found about these is because they have a little bit less board feel, they don't hurt as much on things like Primo's and Impact. Now let's qualify that again. Impact, I don't really skate any Impact ever. Guys, I'm 39. I'm not doing that for you. Okay, so so far there's a lot of positives about this shoe. You know, good grip, good board feel. What about flick? So I've gotta say the flick on these shoes is one of my favorite things about them. It takes about one session to really break them in. So like my first flips don't feel very good in this and I'm talking like my first 10, 15 tries. After that, it starts to wear in just a little bit and then it's perfect. And then even up till this point, like six weeks in, this still has such a consistent, poppy, manageable, um, predictable flip. Like it's a good flip. As for heel flips, absolutely love these shoes for heel flips. I do like a cup sole that's a little bit bulkier, like a tiny bit better for heel flips, but still really good. You know, as you can see on my switch foot, I'm not holding back. Plenty of switch heel flip wear. Okay, next let's get into the fact that they're mids. So um, yeah, I just don't like mids. I hate the feel of my ankle being a little bit more restricted. So I don't get that feeling of extra protection and security. I just feel like I'm a little bit more immobile from wearing a mid. Again, that's my only actual complaint about these shoes. Oh, that's not true. I got one actual complaint about these shoes. These shoes are really hot. Uh, they don't breathe well especially this one like it's got leather there this part's leather so maybe on the ones that have fabric there they would be a little bit better but yeah this one had leather there it's been really hot the whole time i'm in the middle of summer right now so that's one thing that took a long time to get used to i think i'm actually just used to wearing a really hot shoe right now because it's not bugging me so much anymore but in the beginning i had a really hard time with it so one other thing I don't mention a lot, um, cost. I did buy these for almost full price. So these were 144 Canadian. I got them down like 10% because I knew somebody at the shop. Thanks, Henry. But still, this is actually the most expensive pair of skate shoes I have ever bought. But you know what? Six weeks in, I got my money's worth. I haven't even torn my laces. I put a little bit of super glue, crazy glue on that lace. And yeah, no torn laces, no holes in my shoes. 
They're still performing well. Like, I don't know what to say in terms of value. Yeah, it was expensive. However, I got my money's worth. I've spent a little bit less on shoes that have lasted me a lot less. So I'm really stoked on that. I like the look of them. You know, I couldn't complain, especially when they were new. They looked so nice and fresh, a little bit poofy, like not in the British way, you guys, <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> it's okay if it looks that way too. That's your thing. Oh man, I just got canceled. <laughs> All right, anyways, let's get back to the shoes. No, they're good looking shoe. Um, and that's about, honestly, all I have to say. Um, yeah, what else can I tell you about these shoes? Like, good value for money, really good performance. I'm not surprised that I see them so often. Only other problem is, you know, like having to lace them up. I got used to that, you know. I just know that I have to budget some time for taking my shoes on and off. But yeah, that's about it. I've loved them. And I also bought a pair for my son at the same time. He's loved them. I'm pretty sure they're his favorite shoe. Definitely way more than I ever wanted to spend on a pair of shoes for my kid. But they've been lasting him really well too. He always wears his shoes out here. He scooches way more than me, but they're lasting him a good long time. Um, so yeah, that's it. I haven't been putting out many videos lately, so I have a ton of um, just sort of random footage from filming with me and my son. So here it is. And there it was, me doing the same tricks I do at my local park at a bunch of different parks this time. <laughs> Anyways guys, I hope you're doing awesome. Whether you like these shoes or not, whether you intend to get them or not, I hope you enjoyed the video. I wanna say thanks for watching. 
I hope you're doing well out there. I hope you're having a good time on your skateboard. And if you're not able to skateboard, I hope you're able to find something else in your life that brings you some joy, some contentment, and some peace. So with that, time for me to go. Hope you're doing well. Ha, 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 ha.